How's it going, everybody? This has got to transform them all. Here we go. I finally picked up the Celebi Mythical Pokemon Collection box. So this is the second in the 11 of these boxes they're releasing in the course of this year. Uh, first was obviously Mew. Now we have Celebi. Next month is Jirachi. And after that, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I know Arceus is in uh, August. Other than that, I have no idea. Uh, but... Yeah, we have the Selby box here. I did pick up two, because as I've said with the Mew box, I, w I would like to try and pick up two of each box at least. Uh, I did end up picking up a third of the Mew box, so we'll see if I end up with three of each of them. Uh, but two for sure, just because that'll help me collect to the generation set for sure, <laughs> uh, especially uh, since these are the only way to get them currently. Uh, there are like four... Uh, EX boxes with Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, and Pikachu coming. Uh... Those I will probably not get two of, uh, just because those will be a little more expensive. Uh, even though you'd, I think you'd get four Generations packs, it's still... Eh, maybe two of the Venusaur box, actually. Maybe two of the Venusaur box. Uh, yeah, here's the first Celebi box. We have Venusaur and Blastoise on the packs. A pin, a Celebi promo card. And was there anything else? A code card uh, that I assume gets you Celebi. Uh, the card on the online game, but I'll be keeping this one for myself. Don't worry, if you guys want like a free code, you can get one uh, in the next box when I give that one out with the next video. <laughs> Just tear right into this. <laughs> okay. Oh. So, first of all, this almost didn't come out. So first of all, Bulbasaur. Thumbs up for me. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Okay, yeah, so we have Jirachi, Darkrai, Manaphy, Shaman. August, September, October, November, December. <laughs> and then, of course, just like with the Mew box, you have the big poster featuring all of the Pokemon that are getting boxes like these, as well as a distribution. Uh, like, again, I'm looking, like, the reason I know Arceus is in August is because I'm looking forward to that one. Uh, I have a shiny Arceus, and I'm not exactly certain that is a legit one. I think there's been, like, one shiny Arceus distribution for Japan, maybe. Uh, but I don't think I have one of those, so I'm lo looking forward to get a legit one. Or at least one that I can say 100% is legit. <laughs> and ba And knowing I have completed the, uh... Like, the Pokédex, basically, to date. Uh, so then here we have Celebi, X and Y, 111. Really, really nice artwork, and the hollow pattern is really nice for the artwork. Very, very nice. And again, keeping the code. Sorry. <laughs> you, you can get the next one. Uh, but here is the Celebi pin. Very standard-looking Celebi pin, just kind of, like, standing there, like... Go ahead and take a picture. <laughs> uh, yeah, just a very simple pin, but th like they look really, really nice. This one and the Mew both have been really nice looking pins. So there's that. And then our two packs, Venusaur and Blastoise, Japan's green and blue. Let's go ahead and toss these to the side. Ah, boy. There goes the background guy. Girl, I should say, actually. And Bulbasaur. So, speaking of, we have Sharktacon, Bulbasaur, and Crystal Widow from the Transformers Universe toy line. Uh, but here are our packs. We'll save Venusaur for last, hoping for that maybe, like, last pack magic. Uh, start with Blastoise. My goal is to get uh, one EX between these packs. That would be sweet. Uh, I actually had to double check this because I was going to say... Uh, I have not pulled a Radiant Collection EX yet, but that is completely not true. I pulled the Full Art Flareon EX, uh, so that's that. <laughs> uh, but here we have a Pikachu. Would like to still get another Radiant Collection EX, though. Uh, need to fill out that little subset, too. So we have Zubat, Metal Energy, Magmar, Clement is the Reverse Hollow. I don't know if I have that regular version yet, so... Nice to get as a reverse, I guess. And then we have Meowstic as a Radiant Collection card. Rapidash is our rare. Gulpin is the second Radiant Collection card. Does this 
no, that one that doesn't have any hollow effect at all. But I love that artwork. Just the kid, like the kid, it, the kid is a human incarnation of Gulpin. Like just flat out, like down to the eyes, the mouth, the head shape. <laughs> Human, human Gulpin next to Gulpin. Uh, then we have an Evo Soda, Golbat, and that was the other, that was it. <laughs> Just two uncommons. So, not too bad of a pack, not too much new though. So hopefully we save the better one. When did you fall over again? Stand up, there we go. So, uh, hopefully we save the better pack for last. Ooh, I see something there. We saved something for last. All right, so here we have a Paris, Caterpie. This is why I like to put the cards down, because I can't, <laughs> at some point, I'm basically showing it before I get to it. Uh, we have Clefairy, really love that artwork, looks really nice. And we have Ponyta, Team Flare Grunt. I didn't know that was reprinted for this, uh, which might mean I also don't have this trainer card yet, so. Hopefully sometime I can get that regular version. Then we have the regular Flareon EX. Awesome. Mentioned we pulled the full art of this in one of the Mew boxes. Here is the regular version and what I hoped for, just in the sense that it's a rating collection EX. Uh, very, very nice. Oddly enough, I think I like this version better than the full art because the full art, while it's fantastic artwork, it's also just a little creepy with all the like the original three evolutions with their alien eyes. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out one of my previous Mew box openings. It's just I, I don't know how to feel about the artwork because it's nicely creepy. That doesn't sound right, but you know you you might know what I mean if you see the card. Uh, so Flareon EX, awesome pull right there. Did not have that yet, so nice to ooh, ooh, oh. This is de this is definitely like uh, legendary treasures right here. Putting you down. That is what I'm talking about. We saved the better pack for last right there. Mega Venusaur EX. Here we go. That, oh, I'm so happy to pull this card. Now, I hope I can get Venusaur in some pack soon, because uh, I would love to have both of them. But that is not a bad way uh, to end this Celebi box opening with two EXs, Rating Collection 1, and then the main set one with the Mega Venusaur EX. And these are diff these are actually different cards from the original sets uh, of X and Y and Flashfire. Uh at least for Charizard Flashfire, because uh, if you didn't know, at, le at the very least for the Charizard, uh, the Mega Charizard X is a fire type, as opposed to a dragon type, just automatically making it a whole different card, uh, but we got Mega Venusaur here, that makes me very happy, because Bulbasaur line, obviously a favorite of mine, <laughs> if, if having Bulbasaur here in the background didn't give a tip off. There you go. <laughs> so, Mega Venusaur, that is awesome to pull that. Really, really nice. So then, continuing, we got Charmander as another rating collection card. Then we have Olympia, which is a trainer. Oh, and Clement, there we go. Clement, Clement, Clement. I feel like I can't say that name correctly, but whatever. <laughs> Clement. Uh, so very, very nice. D don't think, I definitely don't have Clement yet. Ah, that name doesn't roll off my tongue, apparently. <laughs> so overall, though, I am thrilled with this box. One, because it's another promo to add to my collection, a really nice looking promo. But on top of that, we got two EXs with Flareon and Mega Venusaur. That is awesome right there. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the opening. Stay tuned for the second Celebi Mythical Collection box, as well as all of the other uh, 20th anniversary stuff whenever they come out and I find them. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a great day.